for a drive. I've got permission to uh, drive it to a car meet and um, yeah, first time driving the S13 on the road in 12 years. Weird. More. More. Probably 13 years. All right, cool. Let's go. This car drives really nice on the road. The only thing, it's like a tiny bit twitchy on the front from so much camber. Other than that, dude, how good a shock works. This car drives beautifully on the road. Lots of shocked faces. It's kind of funny because it's like an old school car meet and people are like, what the hell is this thing doing driving it off the road? There we go, nice little street drive in the uh, street car. Like I said, it's actually crazy how nice that drives on the road. I'm super surprised. <laughs> Today's been one of those days, good news, bad news. Start with the good news. Uh, we have just uh, done a partnership deal with Just Engineering, so they've come board on an actual, as an actual mm -hmm. uh, part financial sponsor this year, as well as Prisma Seats. So as you guys know, I was on board with but Prisma seats were on board with me before anyway, but now they're more on board for this year. Now, as things are in my life, any good news is always followed by bad news. And I haven't told Tiana yet, so I kinda wanna get her reaction because I don't even know what to think at this stage. Now she's looking real confused. Um, bad news, pardon? I don't have any makeup on, so I don't wanna be looked at anyway. And I don't want my bad reaction because I'm so sick of bad news in life. Uh, the Falcon got broken into. They tried to steal it. Cool. In Japan. That's sick. Stole all the spare parts and the seats. Love that. Stole the seats. I love that they stole spare parts for a car that is just They can never use and them. sold one of one seats that were literally trophies. You put the monster... Trophy seats. The seats that I said never to put in a car. The Falcon is something I never wanted to sell. It's going to Japan to keep. And obviously, even if we did get rid of the car or it got written off or anything like that, we'd still be keeping the seats. Cars in Japan, they've stolen my seats. They broke into it. They broke the ignition. Luckily, where it's being kept, uh, Dory Junkie and Yusiki have got a new key set up for it. So the car still runs and everything. However, I had a brand new alternator there that Dave from AU House gave us to put in the car when we get there, which is with a box of like tie rods and things like that. The whole box of spare has been stolen. All Falcon parts, like, <laughs> what are you gonna do with Falcon parts in Japan? Like, these people had plates there as well, ready to go, the police, so it's all, it's all they've done police reports in Japan, the guys are keeping an eye on uh, 
the up garages and things like that where people go to sell spare parts. I, I always tell, like, pardon? Buy anything. Why would they? What Why? car is it for? A Ford Falcon? What the hell is that? Yeah, I can't film her because she doesn't have makeup on and doesn't want to be filmed, but you guys can hear her. It's just... Pardon? And I'm eating pizza. <laughs> and she's eating pizza. I don't know what to think. Like, I am super pissed that someone's tried to steal our car. Like, but then at the same time, I'm like really thankful the car's still there. The car still runs. It doesn't seem like anything is like... It doesn't sound, as at this point, anything's really damaged yet. Um, I'm still waiting to hear information. I spoke with uh, Dory Junkie just before, and he's let me know that they know the seats are being stolen, and they know that the, the parts are being stolen. Luckily, my Kanzai wheels weren't with the car. Uh, they're actually being kept in the shop where the car's being stored. But, yeah, the car wasn't driven, because luckily Ford are a lot harder to steal than a Japanese car. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's cost it's cost quite a bit of money, uh, eight fifty or nine hundred dollars to get the key fixed. Um, so if you can jump on LukeFink.com, grab yourself some of our wicked merch, guys. We'd really appreciate it. With it's just a, something as small as a sticker, right up to hoodies, and whatever else you like, it's on there. Please check it out, LukeFink.com. Um, we we go to Japan in like what five or six weeks, Tiana. I think six weeks? Two months. Two months. Okay, so seven or eight weeks. Still, it's not that far away, so I'm still trying to find out now whether they've stolen the seats and the rails, because the rails are the really hard bit, like getting more seats. I'm sure I can hit up the, the homies at Prisma and we can replace the seats that were there with some Prisma seats. It sucks that the ones that were in it were a trophy and realistically aren't replaceable. Um, from a sentimental value, but they are replaceable from a physical standpoint where we can just put some more seats in the car. And honestly, the Prisma seats are more comfortable than, I think they were Corbo seats, the ones that were in it. Not very comfortable, but they were, you know, they had monster on them because it was a monster event. And then it had the country's flag where each event, event was. One was a Spanish flag and one was a UK flag from the uh, Jim Carner events that I won over there. Um, from when you beat Vaughan. Pardon? One of them was a trophy from when you beat Vaughan. Yeah, and I beat Vaughan. Remember in Spain, like in Spain, my times were faster than Ken's times. Like it was, it was a really cool time. I do have two other physical trophies from those events, which I still have, but the seats were just bloody cool. You know what I mean? When they were on display in the garage, they were a great story. And even when they were in the Falcon, they're a really cool story because they're just in the Falcon you know, why they got flags on them and, you know, you get to tell that story and that's all part of, you know, the trophies I keep are the interesting ones. So, you know, let's just, quick as an example, this was a Lone Star trophy. It's a freaking sword, Nürburgring, because it's just the Nürburgring. Nürburgring is just cool as hell. Uh, a Bulls trophy, which again, I just think it's freaking cool. I gotta keep that, it's a world championship one. You get what I mean, I keep either interesting trophies or significant trophies of some kind, you know what I mean? Just being first or whatever isn't, you know, it's cool, but like it's, you know, there's better stories behind stuff and you know, things like driving the Nürburgring and winning an event at the Nürburgring is just super cool to just say you've been there. Um, and not only been there, but won an event at the Nürburgring, so. Anyway, getting back onto the Falcon, we're still waiting back to see if they stole the seats and the seat rails. We also need to find out if they stole the seat belts. Uh, it had a full set of NRG harnesses in it. Uh, so I'm freaking annoyed. Obviously the box of spares, I gotta hit up David from AU House and find out what spares were there. I call him now. So I've got some news. Ooh. That you're going to find interesting. I don't even know how to tell you. Someone tried to steal the Falcon. In Japan? In Japan. And Benny Gibson's not in Japan, so it can't be Benny. So, someone tried to steal the Falcon. They've actually stolen the seats, I know so far, and the box of spares. 
and they had plates there ready to like take the car. And they left them behind because they couldn't get the car started. Jeez, I know the Falcon's cool, but it is. I'm trying to tell people Falcons are super cool in Japan. You know what I mean? And they don't believe me. And this was at a workshop with D1 cars and stuff, and they've tried to steal the Falcon. Jeez, oh, and they, that part heard a Falcon being the hell. They really wanted the Falcon. I think there's someone that maybe really, really wants a Falcon, or I'm a bad. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, you know, on one stage I'm, I'm like flattered. You know what I mean? Like they've tried to steal the Falcon. In in Australia, no one would even, you know what I mean? Why would you? Right. But in Japan, fancy car. <laughs> uh, so I need to find out from you the spares that were in that box because I need to like do that again. I know, I think there was some tie rods and tie rod ends maybe and an alternator. Yeah, brand new. Yep. So I, they're going to have a great time trying to put that alternator on something in Japan, a barrel one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Huh? Or an Intech. Not suited Intech, but the chances. Yeah, is there plenty of other AUs in, in Japan? And then the seats that they've stolen are literally one of one. Yeah, no, they're your yeah. one of them. Trophies. <laughs> literally trophies with like flags on them and like custom stitching and everything. So, yeah. All right. Anyway, I'm going to have a quick talk with David, find out what the parts were and go from there. So it's been probably a week and a half since I filmed that last video you just watched with the whole Japan thing that's gone down. Ugh, that whole situation freaking sucks. Anyway, we are here at D1NZ uh, getting ready for the weekend of D1NZ. Um, I'm super stoked to be here. We're finally, I'm in the 180 instead of the backup car. That's the plan, we hope to stick to that. Um, now, the last video that went up, you guys were absolutely champions. Uh, I had Boston doing a little bit of filming in the background, um, and you guys freaking loved it. Um, Tiana read the questions out to, read your guys' comments out to him this morning. Uh, so I'm gonna chuck that in here. All right, we have Bossy here reacting to people's comments on his filming skills. You ready? Yeah. I'll read them out to you and you tell me what you think. Sticky Fingers 6969 said, Boston should film more often, such a little character. Nothing better than seeing father and son bonding. Boss would definitely watch this back when he's older. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. Bossy is killing it. Can't wait till he can reach the pedals. He's gonna be a shredder. You gonna do some drifting and full driving? Yeah. Yeah. Good job filming Bossy, even keeping up those steep slippery slopes. Watch your head on the way in the car. Did you bump your head? Yeah. <laughs> A lot. Like, Did you? Like every time I got in. You're very accident prone, are like, you? Blip, blip, blip. 
I just had to pick Boston up from school early because he dropped a can, he got me a can of energy drink out of the fridge this morning and dropped it on his toe and now his toe is swollen and bruised and cut. So we had to go pick him up because it was too sore. And Daddy's in New Zealand, so we've got to film this for him. Great job, boss. You'll definitely be a YouTuber. That's what you want, isn't it? I don't know why. Get boss in a head mount, GoPro, and let him loose. Top job, little man. You put it on your head, yeah. right as a headband, and you don't even have to hold it. Yeah. And then everywhere you look, that's where it will be filming. So if you're looking at dad, it's gonna be filming dad. Yeah. Go bossy, good work, mate. Good cameraman, little bossy. So there is 61 comments, and I reckon about 55 of them are about how good you are at filming. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah? You gonna do more filming for Dad? Yeah? What do you wanna to say to everyone? Thank you for watching. And? Subscribe to Luke Fink. <laughs> so yeah, safe to say Bossy is pretty freaking stoked to you guys and thank you everyone for the comments. We massively appreciate that. Uh, definitely let me know if you want him to uh, do some more filming wherever you can. I definitely love taking him away now. He's at that age where he really can soak it all in and enjoy himself. So I'm super pumped to start taking him to more places. I was meant to take him to the last round of D1NZ that got canceled. Um, so that would have been amazing for him and for me to have him out here with me. But um, yeah, so 180SX is all ready to go. Uh, go see James quickly. Since we haven't seen this car in a while and it's had a big birthday, quick spec. What's going to go wrong, you mean? Or No, quick spec. Oh, quick spec. Because uh, she's had a big birthday. She's caused us a lot of dramas over the time and believe it or not, it has now made 666 kilowatt on the dot on the dyno. So. And for the OGs, if you remember my S13, my Turbo LS S13 made literally 666.66 horsepower yeah. only, horsepower. Yeah. And I ripped it straight off the dyno because I just, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. And yeah. it's made 666 kilowatts. Kilowatts. Yeah, which kilowatts. Is so, like 850 horsepower. Yeah, or just touching on 900 horsepower, right? Oh, 900. Um, but otherwise, that's it's got the five speed TTI sequential, wise fab in the front, GK tech in the rear still, um, link ECU. So, yeah. Not, yeah. All the gear, pretty basic, but at the same time, not. It's all there. It's all there to. To have a rip, uh, you took it out and practice with it. You said yep. it's the fastest it's ever been. Yeah, yeah, we took Manfield a couple of weeks back, and yeah, fuck man, this thing rips. Yeah. So. And last time I drove it, the heads lifted, and I ended up driving yeah. that car, I think, and or Manfield. one of those two cars yeah. at Manfield. Um, that's not the case this weekend. This thing's not going to let us down, but even if it does, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we got that freaking gem. But I don't know if you guys remember last round, we have massive manifold issues and stuff. Now it has a new manifold and it makes how much? It, it's got a brand new six boost manifold on it now and it makes it just a touch under 680 horsepower. So <laughs> a little bit more than our the little barn 400 fly. horsepower that we had at Bay Park the first time it ever came out. That's it's, when it went, all right, it went out on the track with 400 horsepower. It came off with four. Yeah, yeah, with four, yeah. And <laughs> it wouldn't even run. Just, no, no, so. So yeah, she's a little bit spicier these days now. Yeah, so the old barn find. But you know the best thing about this car, I find, is all the dodgy stuff that we've done is all still there. And it works. It, and it does, it works. It's still the Chinese like, turbo. The, the power steering fluid is still red <laughs> after a year of what? How long's that been in there for now? A good year, the cooler, the it, fluid is still red. I'll try and find the clip, but regardless, <laughs> we smashed a radiator in this after a water pump blew off the front of it. We cut the radiator in a quarter, I guess and built a power steering cooler for this car. It's still on there. It works, so it, well. it works amazing. It's literally the most insane trans, uh, power steering cooler you've ever seen. But like you said, it comes out amazing. Yeah, yeah. our next upgrade is intercooler because the GDR factory intercooler is what's holding us back at the moment. So, I mean, the moon's the limit at this stage. Well, is it still R200 rear or is it GDR? No, it's R200 rear, G-Force box. Yeah, so the rear end, she's factory arms, screaming factory for everything. She's screaming for help, probably. Yeah, yeah, she might yeah. need some GDR shafts or some wise sub shafts or something. Yeah, so it's like factory skyline arms and everything. It, nothing's adjustable on the rear end of it. Yeah. And That's probably one of the cooler things about this car is like, we were keeping up with like everyone here at D1NZ with that thing, lifting wheels and stuff, mm. and there is nothing. 20 year old D2 suspension with no dampeners on the top of them anymore or anything. <laughs> like, it's just a. 
It's just a party. Yeah. Yeah, it is a, a friggin' laugh to drive, and me and James both absolutely beefing the shit out of it last it round. Yeah. It didn't, yeah, it didn't get turned off. It was literally, <laughs> I'd have a battle, you'd have a battle, I had a battle, you and had a battle. In the logging, it didn't go over 92 degrees the whole time. Water <laughs> Jay-Z's don't even idle at that. Um, no, no electric fans, no nothing. Yeah. So yeah, we're looking forward to a good weekend. It is unfortunately going to rain. That's 666 kilowatts. It's probably unnecessary at this point. Probably rip the whole turbo pit system off and be fine. But um, James should have his rebuilt S15 here, which now has Magnuson Supercharger on it, and then a built LS3 uh, uh, or something. LS2. LS2. LS2 now, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. And the Magnuson 2650 on top. Yeah. So and the problem is too much horsepower. Well, not at the moment. She's just on 700 horsepower yesterday on the dyno. But well, you said something about it making too much boost. It's too much boost. So chicken's only allowing it to open 55% of throttle at the moment on the electric throttle. So yeah. It, yeah. So it's only making yeah. 700 on 55% throttle. Correct. So the problem is it's trying to make too much power. Yeah. Yeah. So he's he's cut the electric throttle off, so I can't use it basically um, until we until we do some running caves and. You know, give it a few heat cycles and all the rest of it. So yeah. give it some chance to a few, few run-ins just yeah. straight out on the track. Yeah. To be fair, anybody these days know you run them in on the dyno for the yeah. most part. But being brand new, yeah, the brand motor's brand, brand, brand new crate engine, brand new supercharger from Magnuson. Um, it's all happening. Anyway, it's going to be a good weekend. I'll uh, probably wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, tune in to the next two vlogs. This is going to be insane here from D1NZ. Wish me luck. I'll see you in the next one.